Hi, we, we just uh, published a, a paper, uh, 3D microvascular fiber reinforced composites. And this is a work that was really inspired by previous work we've done where we realized that having a vascular network in a composite material really opens the door to doing a lot of neat things. The, the key development for the paper was a sacrificial fiber. And the sacrificial fiber can be woven into a composite preform. We can infiltrate that with a matrix material and cure up the matrix material. Above the curing point of the matrix material, we can raise the temperature further and cause that sacrificial fiber to depolymerize, leaving behind a channel, <clears throat> leaving behind a channel exactly where the original fiber was. So, what we demonstrated with this paper was uh, that we could could make it multifunctional by circulating different types of fluids through through that material system. So in, in one case, for example, we circulate a coolant phase so that we could modulate the temperature of, of the composite. We also demonstrated the ability to have chemical reactions inside these materials. And we circulated an electrically conductive fluid so that we could modulate conductivity. And we added a ferrofluid in another example where we demonstrated that we could change the magnetic signature around the material. So I think uh, it really gives you the, the, the idea behind this of having a material system that is, is now pluripotent. It just uh, takes on the functionality of whatever fluid we introduce to the material. So much like stem cells, which can be differentiated to give different functionality, uh, by introducing a variety of functional fluids, our material has the ability to adapt and become a variety of different, take on a variety of different functionalities. Right, so if we circulate reactive chemicals, we can, we can heal the material. And if we could imagine delivering materials, like uh, delivering a de-icent, or delivering uh, maybe an antifungal material. Right, or modulating the temperature with uh, cooling and heating uh, materials at the same time. I think a key thing is um, the methods that we've des described in this paper are compatible with conventional composite manufacturing and so now the ability to deliver or transfer energy and mass inside this structural composite reminds us a lot of trees and very much the paper was bio-inspired in nature. Right. I don't know if that last part makes any sense whatsoever. That, but <laughs> it does to me. <laughs> Please read our paper. <laughs>